Flinders Island sits in the middle of the Bass Strait between Tasmania and Victoria. Its natural beauty is a world-class attraction that is only rivaled by its extraordinary history. Before the discovery that Tasmania was a separate island from Australia, all ships would round the southern tip before heading north to the first fleet settlement of Botany Bay. One such ship in doing so was the Sydney Cove. In 1797, she was wrecked to foul weather on an island southwest of Flinders. 17 of the ship's best men set off to find help. In a longboat, they crossed the Bass Strait before being wrecked on the coast of what is now known as Victoria. This was over 600 kilometers to Botany Bay, and after two months of the most gruelling journey through trackless country, three men made it back alive. But this was enough to send out rescue boats, who promptly sent out ships to collect the surviving passengers and other precious cargo, such as 7,000 gallons of rum. The new activity in the area brought about the discovery of the strait separating Tasmania from Australia and was named by Captain Matthew Flinders after the ship surgeon George Bass. Back in Botany Bay, news had circulated about the huge seal colonies occupying the islands and sparked a rush of sealers from America and Great Britain keen to exploit its valuable resources. Within a decade, the seals were almost hunted to extinction and the sealers moved on. By now a settlement had been established on the banks of the Derwent River and was to be the beginning of a long war with the native Aboriginals. By 1830, thousands of natives had been raped, kidnapped and slaughtered. The remaining handful were captured and exiled to live on Flinders Island. A horrible experiment as they sat dispirited, debilitated and demoralised within sight of their old island home. They passed the time making jewellery from the rare marina seashells found only on Flinders Island. As the institutionalised life did not work, they died from heartbreak at around one per week and were buried in unmarked graves at a settlement named Waibalina. White settlement began in 1889 followed by rural industries, fishing, mutton birding, dairy and sheep. In 1904, tin loads were discovered at Killacranky Bay in the island's north. A happy byproduct of this mining was the discovery of Killycranky diamonds, a very rare and beautiful topaz with a brilliant sheen. This unique and enchanting part of Tasmania led Erin and I to visit the island hoping to discover for ourselves some of its many hidden treasures. It's warmer over here. <laughs> We're on the east coast now, Yeah. After a short plane ride, we'd arrived on the island where we found our hire car waiting for us. We had no plan other than returning the car and our flight home in four days. <laughs> Where the hell are we going? I don't know. <laughs> Indeed it was a Cape Barren Goose. Feared to be extinct in the 1950s, these geese are some of the rarest geese on earth and can be found on Flinders Island. We had unknowingly stumbled upon Waibalina, the Aboriginal built brick chapel still standing tall nearly 200 years later. It was built in an effort to bring Christianity into the Aboriginals lives and later used as a sheep shearing shed before being bought by the National Trust. It is now regarded as one of the most important historical sites in all of Tasmania. Yeah. You can tell the bad things that happened here.
I was enjoying the view down the beach when Erin called out saying she might have found one of the marina shells. Look at this one. Look at how green it is on the inside, see? That means the whole shell's going to be that colour. And there's another. Prized for their bright green fluorescent glow, the native Aboriginals use these shells to make all sorts of jewellery. After collecting a few shells, we drove back into town to do some shopping. And we had a nice picnic by the ocean. It was now time to find our campsite for the night, heading north again away from town. The cool thing we realised about Flinders Island is it's so small you can drive from one end to the other in just half an hour. As you can probably tell it was super windy here so we borrowed this fire drum from a campsite and relocated it somewhere sheltered. Just need some marshies. I like mine medium rare. <laughs> that is the perfect marshmallow, look at that. Mmm. <laughs> oh. Mm. <laughs> They're all different. You can get different colours and... Yeah. As Erin cleaned up and graded her marina shell finds, I looked into our next day's goal, which would be finding a killy cranky diamond. So we've just woken up, super windy day, and it's raining. I said we've just woken up and it's a super windy day and it's been raining. Yeah, it's been raining. It was nice and cozy in the tent though. That's why I'm staying in here. <laughs> shells we're going to be looking for some different things today Our company's watching. <laughs> <It's all> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, time for some diamonds. We were tipped off about an old tin mining quarry off the side of the road, which apparently produced good sized cuttable diamonds. Closer. Look at that. Mm, pretty stone. You gotta be like fully clear. A few more sieves and we found our first little diamond. This spot produced a few more small diamonds, but 
that was enough for the tip-off spot. We needed to go to the source, Killer Cranky Bay, where the infamous Diamond Gully existed. But we soon found out that the only access was on private property. But upon quick investigation, we realized it was an Airbnb and they were vacant. I was stoked to have access to the Diamond Gully and Erin was even more stoked in the fact we didn't have to spend another night camping. A shower. A what? A shower. <laughs> Civilization. Still on the beans though. They're still eating. I've waited there. all day for this. <laughs> day three broke and we were now within sight of the infamous Diamond Gully. And after a comfortable breakfast, we just need to make a short trip into town to get more supplies. But not before we'd made some new friends. Get out. He's ready for an adventure. Can we keep him? Papa, that poor rental car. <laughs> Ernie, hop out. <laughs> I guess you're coming with us. We're gonna find some diamonds, aren't we, little guy? Flinders Islands 101s. You soon learn that everybody waves when passing. Without fail. Get to the sites early to beat the crowds. <laughs> This is how you recognise the blow-ins and fresh produce can be limited. Back at the Airbnb we were finally ready to visit the Killy Cranky Corner where Diamond Gully drains its treasures onto the granite foreshore. It was a fair distance to the shore so we opted for the car ride which didn't last long. Looks like we're walking again. Well, that's how windy it was last night. I'm so glad we didn't camp. <laughs> yeah, we're lucky. I'm glad, I'm glad that tree was down because we wouldn't have been able to turn around. I don't know. Would we have done that in the Camry? On no, the sides, we probably would have. On the sides, we would have been able to do it. Straight off the bat, things were looking hopeful, as I found a nice crevice which showed promise of a good show. So many gems in here. Wow. Like if that was big, it'd be good. This isn't one. But after hours of effort, and dozens of sieves, nothing of size showed up, and we had to leave for lunch. So close yet so far. Put a call out on Instagram for help to help us try and get a diamond. 
right hand corner of bay, waist deep, low tide, waist deep, easy stuff is gone. Please don't make me go. <laughs> low tide is in one hour. No! It's looking like some diamond finding weather right here. How's it going for you? My goodness, he has done it. We stayed and we did it. We stayed and we did it. That's a good stone, isn't it? It's stunning, baby. Good job. That, oh, is, that is one. That is one. Yes. Yes. Are you popping bottles? Celebratory saws. <laughs> yeah. Undoubtedly a magic few days, but our time on the island was sadly coming to an end. So we spent the last day cruising about taking in sights. Bye Diamond Gully. Cars, the Camry fleet. No. Come on. 
Come on, boy. Outside. No. 